Hello everybody, this is Feet Blog, and I believe this is Feet Blog number 9, and this one is called Hacked. And there's a good reason for that. Um, as people who tend to view my channel know, although there might be some new people that might come by who don't know about this, but um, a friend of mine named Aramato, who I deal with from time to time on my channel, um, got hacked unfortunately and um, this this hacking problem obviously isn't restricted to him it it's becoming a serious problem on YouTube and um, I'm pretty hacked off <laughs> at YouTube about this because the, the, they'll focus on revamping a whole bunch of other stuff as you know they're doing this uh, YouTube beta thing now, I personally am not interested in beta in any way, shape, or form, but okay, whatever. But they're doing all this beta, beta crap and doing all this other stuff, but they're not upgrading their security. Now, that just doesn't make any sense to me. But the one thing that I guarantee a whole lot of people would like and appreciate would be an increase in security. You know, when I pay my credit cards, what they have set up is not just the username and password, they'll also throw up a picture to see if it's something that's recognized, and in addition to that, they'll ask a, a question. They'll say, okay, well, where did you graduate from high school or something like that? And if the answer doesn't match what I type in, then it'll throw up an error message under the assumption that either I screwed up or I'm not the one trying to get into the account. It's somebody else who shouldn't be getting into the account. But it just seems to me like YouTube should be focusing their energies on security. I realize that there's no way to 100% guarantee that no one will get hacked. However, they could spend some serious man hours trying to improve the security. And here's another thing that really hacks me off, is the fact that there is no possibility of communicating with them. Well, I mean, I, I'm not saying that there's absolutely no way to communicate with them, but, but it's such a pain in the rear end. You know, there, there is no real, what you would call, customer service. Um, I think they need to have a customer service system. Now, I realize that there are probably thousands or even millions of YouTube users who have channels. I have no, uh, I have no doubt that this is probably, you know, that this is the case. Okay, okay, I understand that. So why not have a system where if we pay for it, like in the United States we have what's called a 1-900 number, where if you dial this number, um, it means that whatever you're calling into, will you will be charged, however, whatever the amount per minute, okay? It could be 10 cents a minute to make this call to whomever you're making this call to. No big deal. So do that. Some businesses do that. So do that. I don't mind, depending on how much it costs, of course, I don't mind paying for customer service in this particular case. But, provide it. Give me the ability to actually pick up the phone and call somebody and work out the issues that are going on with my channel. You know, that, that would be very enriching to the YouTube experience. And I could also tell them off about beta because I don't want it. I realize that there might be some features there that might be kind of quote unquote interesting, but to be perfectly honest with you, I could live without it. I like my channel simple and basic and cool. I don't need any of this special garbage that they're trying to put together. Plus it's got a ton of bugs from what I understand. So that's it for now. To Air Motto, Godspeed, my friend. I hope you get your channel back, and um, I hope YouTube will do something. You know, it's so hard to know what can happen in that situation. All right, guys, bye.